Hey guys, how's it going? Aaron here with Double H Shaves back again for another video. Really cool soap that we're going to be using today. So this one comes from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements and this is actually one of his secret soaps where he combines two of his scents. Um, yeah, really cool artwork he does on these mashup soaps where he combines the two labels of the scents he's using. Um, so yeah, this one's called Cavalier. So this is a combination of Cavendish and Gondolier. Um, yeah, so Cavendish was, uh, it was my first shave soap back in the day, a couple of years ago, and um, just one of my favorite scents. It's like a really smooth um, cherry vanilla pipe tobacco type scent. Really, really awesome. And I wanted to pick up this soap because I was really curious to see um, how it would blend in with the gondolier. So um, gondolier is another one of his most popular scents. So yeah, gondolier is like... Um, Gondolier is like an old world Italian kind of cologne type scent, real nice, sophisticated cologne scent. Um, and I never, I never got the soap and splash of, of Gondolier because I was never, I was just never the biggest cologne scent guy. It, it's definitely a nice scent. It's just, I think, you know, when I, when I got samples of it, I, I was like, yeah, it's nice, but um, I don't think I wanted to get the set. But, uh, but yeah, I was. I was really curious about this soap because I was like, huh, I wonder if the Cavendish, the notes from the Cavendish would uh, blend good with Gondolier and make it better. And I'm really glad I picked this up because this is actually a really, really phenomenal scent. Um, so in my, so like I said, I'm not the biggest cologne scent guy. And I think, um, I think like the, the cherry vanilla tobacco notes from the Cavendish, I do think it makes the Gondolier a lot better. I think, um, I think the gondolier on its own is like a little bit too cologne-y for me, but I think, you know, as a fan of, you know, kind of sweet tobacco scents, I think, um, I think these blend so good and, and it does make the gondolier a lot better. Um, yeah, so, uh, Doug from Phoenix, he just really, really did a good job with this. Um, yeah, this is a really, really, really awesome scent. And, um, now I'm kind of curious about his other mashups. He's got a couple... I think they change depending on the season. He's got a couple on his site right now. Um, yeah, I think if you go in the search bar of Phoenix and you type in like secret soap or secret menu soap, you can see all the ones that are available. Um, and yeah, I just, I really wanted to get this one because um, yeah, I just wanted to see how they both matched up. And this is a really, really, really phenomenal scent. So you definitely get the cologne from the gondolier, um, but you know, it's just blended. It's just got like a sweet tobacco edge to it from the Cavendish just, and it makes it, it just makes it better in my opinion. And it's just a really, really, really awesome scent. Um, yeah, so definitely, definitely a good mashup here. So I'm looking forward to using this. So this is in his CK1 base. Uh, unfortunately he doesn't make this one in uh, his new CK6 base. He makes a couple of his secret soaps in the CK6. Um, oh yeah, and if you wanna, if you want to like kind of learn more about his secret soaps, there's a guy, he's got a good video um, on YouTube going over all, you know, he like bought all the secret soaps and he has a good video going over them. His name is Silky Creamy. Um, so I'll be sure to link to that in my description. But um, yeah, man, just really cool how, how he makes these and they just look cool. So I'm excited to use it. I already used it one time off camera. So, oh, and uh yeah, so, you know, I got the combo soap, and he doesn't make combo splashes, unfortunately, but got the splash of Cavendish here, and I got a sample of Gondolier here, and at the end of the shave, I'm actually going to combine those splashes, um, you know, because I'm kind of curious how, you know, the splashes are going to smell together, so, yeah, it's going to be a good one. Uh, brush for today, going to be synthetic Yaki, I think it's, I think it's the Yaki Mysterious Space Synthetic. And then a uh, really cool razor combination. I love this. So this is the, this is the Edwin Jagger DE86. There's other letters and numbers. I'll be sure to link to it in my description, but yeah, it's my only rubber handle razor and it just feels good in the hand, good grip. Um, and then it just looks cool with the Maggard. This is the Maggard V3A aggressive head. Been a big fan of this one for a while. Uh, you know, I kind of have coarse hair, so the aggressiveness of this just works well. And I'm starting to think that, uh, yeah, I'm just starting to think that, you know, I think in the future I'm just going to mainly get aggressive razors because I, I do think they work better and they're just way more efficient. So, yeah, and I love this combination too, the black and the black. Really, really, really sleek 
looking razor. I really, really like that a lot. And then uh, blade, I got a treat blade. Yeah, treat's awesome. I've used it a couple other times off camera. Um, made in Pakistan, really, really good blades. Big fan of this one um, out of my sampler pack, yeah, so. All right, let's do it. Oh yeah, and um, I'm, I'm a big bowl lather, so I like, I like bowl lathering a lot. I had a ceramic bowl from Black Ship Grooming, and the other night, when I was shaving, unfortunately I dropped it and it shattered. And I was meaning to, I was meaning to buy another, um, another shave bowl, like a plastic one, but I just, I never got around to it. Um, yeah, if any of you guys, you know, if any of you guys know any good plastic shave bowls, like preferably bigger ones, because I don't really like when the soap goes over the edge a lot, but yeah, if there's a, a bowl you guys want to recommend, like a big plastic one, plastic lather bowl, you know, definitely let me know. So yeah, it's actually been a while since I face lathered, uh, you know, cause I'm usually a bowl lather type guy, but it's gonna be interesting today. When I first started shaving, I face lathered. Um, I did face lather a lot, it's just been a while, but all right, we're gonna do a nice heavy, heavy load there. I kind of like to overload, you know, which is, that is definitely a heavy, uh, <laughs> Heavy load there. So let's go ahead. Yeah, I, I just think, um, yeah, when I switched over to bowl lathering, I kind of just stuck with it because, in my opinion, it's, um, I think it's a little bit cleaner. You know, it's like less messy sometimes when I face lather, it just goes everywhere. You know, when you keep adding water and putting it on your face, it just kind of, at least for me, sometimes it tends to go everywhere. So I think bowl lathering is a little, um, a little less messy. Um, and I feel like you can also judge the hydration a little bit better when it's in the bowl. Um, but you know, some people like, they like face lathering better. It's just different, you know, but I just prefer the bowl. So yeah, if any, if anyone can recommend a good, sh big plastic shave bowl, definitely let me know. Definitely not getting a glass one anymore. I'm too afraid to drop it. So. All right, yeah, so this is, again, this is CK. He doesn't make this soap in his CK6 space. This is CK1. Um, yeah, nowadays, um, you know, I think with Phoenix, I just usually go for the scent. So because of that, I don't really give too much thought whether I, uh, I go for CK6 or CK1. I think, I mean, CK6 is obviously better. You get an ounce more of soap. It's a better base. Um, $10 more, but... I mean, even this, even just the CK1 tubs last a while, so I usually just, I guess I more go for CK1 nowadays, um, if he has it available, his scent, if he has the scent available in CK1, so, all right, let's add a bit more water here. I gotta make sure I got some good hydration. Um, man, I tell you, this, this scent works so, so good, um. Yeah, for those of you who, who have smelled both, like this is just, man, these two work so well together. Um, it's like a nice, you get the cologne from the, from the, uh, the gondolier, but then you also get the sweet tobacco from the Cavendish. And I think it's just what the gondolier needed. It, that's just my opinion. I was never the biggest cologne guy, but I just, I think it's just what it needed. Let me add a little bit more water here. Okay. I'm not really too used to face lathering, so I just want to make sure I get the hydration right. Yeah, I thought this would be going everywhere, but surprisingly it's kind of kind of doing good. Yeah, there we go. I think we got some good hydration here. Oh, yeah, it just works good. I'm, now I'm curious about his other secret scents. Um, he's got like five available right now, I think. I'll try to link to it in my description for the ones he has available now. Um, This is definitely a good one. Oh, and it's cool. And I think when I, um, that's good enough. Yeah, it's cool. I think when I, um, when I got this soap, I, I, I'm, my guess is that, um, you know, it's just been a while since 
anyone has ordered this one, probably because it's one of the secret ones. Yeah, when I got it, the soap was just like really nice and hydrated inside. It was like really moist. And um, my thinking is when I first ordered it, he poured it right then and there, which I, which is really cool. Yeah, like there was no dryness in the, uh, in the tub. It looked really nice and hydrated. So I'm wondering if he poured it right when I ordered it, which is really neat. Yeah, I do enjoy these, uh, these treat blades are really good too. I think I used them in another video, um, uh, Pakistan made blades. It's kind of funny. You never know, like blades are made all over the world. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You know, Wilkinson sword is made in, in England. Um, what else is there? There's, I think Derby is made in Turkey. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You never know where a blade's gonna be from. All right. And yeah, like I said, I think the, these aggressive heads, it's just, they're definitely more up my alley now. Um, I got a lot of mild razors. And, you know, I like them a lot because you don't really have to give too much thought when you're using it because there's a lot of protection. But, yeah, it kind of sucks because now that I'm finding out that, um, you know, aggressive heads are more up my alley. I kind of wish I had more aggressive razors, but, oh, well, you know, I can always get more in the future. I think that's a good first pass. I'm just going to do another one against the grain here. Yeah, I mean, even on a CK1 base, just the, the push shape slickness is great. I mean, dehydrate it well. It's just really, really, really awesome. Wow, yeah, I like, I mean, the post shape slickness is great. I do think he might have poured it like right when I ordered it, which is, I really, really think so. All right, just gonna do one more pass here against the grain. Hmm. All right. I love this brush too. I, I, I've had this brush for like three years. It's a Yaki synthetic. Barely lost any bristles. I have a lot of newer brushes that I got where they just keep losing, losing and losing bristles. But man, this one was like $20. It's barely lost any bristles. Um, and man, like synthetic brushes, they just, they don't smell. They're just, they just seem like a really good way to go. I mean, and they're cheap. Um, you know, the animal hair ones are good too. They're just kind of different. Um, but yeah, I always say this is like, one of the best $20 I've ever spent. So it's just really good. Mm. Yeah, this scent really comes out when you lather it. Just really perfect combination of the, um, I think there might be a little bit more of the, of the gondolier in there than the Cavendish. I think just cause gondolier is a stronger scent, but. comfortable in the neck there. Yeah, a while back when I first started using Phoenix, I always underhydrated it and it was always kind of pasty, but yeah, it just feels good when you get the kind of the hydration down. Um,
Yeah, this, uh, I think the mustache and the chin area, I kind of usually just go across. Um, still seems to get all the hair just fine. So. A little bit up, but. I guess, the, yeah, this area I usually go against, but. Mustache, gotta be careful there. Go down here. Yeah, man, I really like this aggressive razor head a lot. I got it off Maggards. It was pretty cheap, and um, yeah, it's amazing how well a lot of these cheaper, these cheap hardware perform. You know, looks like I've gotten a little. Little neck over there, not too bad. But... All right, make sure I got everything here. Looks pretty good. The yeah, treat blades are good as usual. Yeah, if you guys have never used a treat blade, I do recommend them. They're pretty good blades. Great, great push tape slickness on here. It feels just like CK6 is new base. It's crazy. Yeah, I guess I don't really see too much of a difference anymore between these two bases. They both just really work for me, so. All right, paper towel. Yeah, I'm not like a big towel guy, like a normal towel, because of all the, you know, all this, the, the dust and stuff that's on there. So paper towel usually works for me. All right, time to combine the splashes and uh, see how that smells. So, got the Cavendish here. I'm gonna pour a little bit of that. And we're gonna pour some of the uh, some of the gondolier here. Let me get a little more of the Cavendish here. Okay. Ah, really nice. Great, great combination. Yeah, this was, he had such a good idea to combine these two. This is way more up my alley, just like the tobacco combined with the cologne. This is really, really great. All right, not too much irritation. Uh, a little bit over on the cheek here. Um, but, yeah, really, really pleased with today's shave. Really good. Really good stuff. All right. Well, yeah, awesome. Okay, well, that was a really, really great shave with uh, Cavalier today. PAA Secret Soap. Um, yeah, I'll be sure to link to all of it so you guys can check out his, his secret offerings. But, um... Yeah, um, as usual, thank you for the support and thank you for watching. You know, I love watching your guys' videos too, so um, keep up the good work and I hope everyone has a good weekend coming up, so take care.